Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ophelia Orate, a principal owner of a school, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. Today, we're going to have Philippine Science High School Part 10. I hope this will help you for your NCE for Philippine Science High School, for Ateneo, for La Salle, Marikina Science High School, Quezon City Science High School, Makati Science High School, and all the other high schools. Uh, I taught in Philippine Science High School for 18 years, and I was the head of the math department for a time. Okay, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Let's start. Problem number one. One number is six more than another number. The sum of the numbers is 46. The smaller number is A6, B40, C20, D26, E38. Now, uh, you can use algebra here or simple arithmetic. I'm going to teach you algebra so that uh, it will be easier for you to solve other more complicated problems. So, if you say one number is six more than another number, you can let x be one number. There. And then, since the other one is six more than another number, so x plus six will be the other number. This is number, not hashtag. Huh? The sum of the numbers is 46. That would mean if you add x and x plus 6, if you add this two x and x plus 6, that will be equal to 46. Then using simple algebra, add this two, you have 2x plus 6 is equal to 46. Then subtract 6 to both sides. To get rid of 6 here, you have 2x is equal to 40. To isolate x, divide both sides by 2. There, cancel this. So x is equal to 20. So the smaller number is 20. The correct answer is letter C. Now, let us say you're not yet used to solving problems using algebra. You can now use arithmetic. Since one number is 6 more than another number and the sum is 46, so using arithmetic, you just subtract 6 from the sum. So that will give you 40. And since there are two numbers involved, you just divide this by 2 and that will give you 20, the smaller number. So you choose whatever you want to use, it will be okay. Next is problem number two. Eight more than a certain number gives 20. So, what is the number? Eight more than a certain number x. We let x be the certain number. So, x is the number or the certain number. Repeat, eight more than a certain number gives 20, gives equals 20. What is the number? So, x is equal to 20 minus 8. Why minus 8? You have to remove the 8 here. So, you have to subtract 8 to the left and 8 to the right. There. x will cancel. 8 will cancel with minus 8. You now are left with x equals 20 minus 8. So, x is equal to 12. So the correct answer here is letter D, 12. Oh, how do you do it by arithmetic? Very simple. You want a number, okay, where the sum is 20 and that number is 8 more than, more than the, the given number. So you simply subtract 8 from 20, you're given a 12. There, using arithmetic. Okay, next, problem number 3. The sum of two consecutive 
even integers is 18. What is the smaller integer? A9, B8, C10, D12, E14. Okay. You have the sum, so you have to add. Two consecutive even integers. So the first integer must be x. So this is the first number or the first integer. And then the second integer must be x plus 2. Well, that's the second integer. Why x plus 2? Because you have the second even. The difference between uh, two consecutive even numbers is 2. So you have to add 2 here. Then, how do you do this? The sum, so you have to add. Of the two consecutive even, so you have to add the first, x here, and x plus 2. Others put a parenthesis, that's alright. With or without, that's alright. Is 18 equals 18? There. Now, you have to add this 2. That gives you 2x plus 2 equals 18. To isolate the term with x there, you have to subtract 2 to the left and 2 to the right. Remember, whatever you subtract to the left, you subtract to the right to balance the equation. This cancels. It becomes 0. So, 2x is equal to 18 minus 2 is 16. Then, Isolate x, so you divide both sides by 2. Cancel 2. x is equal to 16 divided by 2 is 8. So the first number is 8, or the first even number is 8. The second even number is 10. Add them just to double check. 10 plus 8 is 18. There, the sum is 18. So the problem is asking for the smaller integer. We have letter B. Eight. Next is problem number four. The area of a certain square is 81 square centimeters. What is its side? The area of a square is simply side times side. Or it is side of the square, quantity squared. So since the area is given to be 81, Okay, you just have to take the square root of 81. That will give you the side of the square, which is 9 cm. So easy, right? So the correct answer is 9. Okay, what if the, uh, okay, let, let me give you practice. Uh, let's say uh, I make here a table. And, uh, let's say the area here is given. You give me the side and then also the perimeter so we hit three birds with one stone let's say the area is 81 what is the side of the square square root of 81 is 9 perimeter you just add the four sides right 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 or 9 times 4 that will give you 36 that's the perimeter now the unit of the area is let's say cm so it's a cm square the side will be cm the perimeter will be in cm let's have problem number two let's say this is 121 cm square what is the side of the square square root of 121 is 11 mm. 11 times 4 so you get 44 for the centim for the perimeter perimeter rather okay so let's say this is 169 cm squared what is the side of the square it's 13 13 times 13 is 169 perimeter 13 times 4 oh what's that 4 times 3 is 12 carry 1 52 cm it would be better if you memorize the squares as early as now no? for taking a Philippine Science High School entrance exams or Manila Science High School or any high school entrance exams, it would be better for you to memorize the squares. Let's have the squares here. Okay, let's say uh, we have a one square, you know it's one. What about two square? That is two times two is four. Three squared is three times three is nine. 
4 square this, 4 times 4 is 16. 5 square this, 5 times 5 is 25. 6 squared is, 6 times 6 is 36. 7 squared, 7 times 7 is 49. 8 squared, 8 times 8 is 64. 9 squared, 9 times 9 is 81. 10 squared, 10 times 10 is 100. I'm sure you already memorized this, but it would be better if you memorize the, the squares from 11 to 20. Let's, let's have a practice here. 11 squared, there. You have it. 121. This is 121. 12 squared is 144. 13 squared, there. We have it there. 13 times 13 is 169. 14 square is 196. 15 square, 15 times 15 is 225. 16 square, 256. 17 square is 289. 18 square is 324. 19 square, 9 times 9 is 81. It ends in 1. 361. And 20 square is 400. I highly recommend that you memorize this so that if they give you an area which is 200, let us say 89 cm squared, you know immediately that it is equal to 17 cm for the side and 17 times 4. This is 28 carry to 68 cm for the perimeter. Now, let me teach you a technique on how to uh, remember the squares of the large numbers like this. Like this one, 11. You look at the, the last digit. One, 11 times 11, so the last digit will be 1 times 1 is 1. No? The last digit is 1. When you multiply 12 times 12, 2 times 2 will give you a last digit of 4. See? 3 times 3, 13. 3 times 3, the last digit will be 9. Now, uh, this one, 14 and 16 will be confusing. All you have to remember is that the square of 15 is 225. So after 15 will be 16. So that will give you 256. It should be more than 225. No, for the 16 square, 256. Before 15, that should be less than 225, which is 196. There, you just have to remember the last digit. 7 times 7 is 49. That gives you a last digit of 9. 8 times 8 is 64. It gives you a last digit of 4. 9 times 9 is 81. It gives you a last digit of 1. And of course, 0 times 0 is 0. It gives you the last digit of 0. Next problem is problem number five. The perimeter of a certain rectangle is 26 cm meters, rather. Its width is 4 meters. What is its length? Okay. Let me draw a rectangle for you to understand it well. There. Remember the perimeter, when you say perimeter, as discussed in problem number four, you just add all the sides. So the perimeter is just two times the length plus two times the width. Right? There. So given that the perimeter is 26, so we have a 26 here. You substitute it here. Its width is four. So this is our rectangle. The width is 4. So this is 4 and this is 4. That's the width. What is its length? We let the length be x. x. So that would mean, using algebra, you will have here 2 times the length, which is x, plus 2 times the width, which is 8. Right? Ah, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. This should be 4. Let me erase that. Length. Again, the length, its width is 4 so the width is 4 repeat 2 times the length so 2x plus 2 times the width the width is 4 so so this is now 26 equals 2x plus 8 
again to isolate 2x you, we subtract 8 to the left and to the right so that will be giving us 2x because this is 0 26 minus 8 is 18 and then to isolate x here you divide both sides by 2 cancel 2 equals 18 divided by 2 is 9 so what is its length the length is 9 oh let us say you want to use arithmetic so it's like this the perimeter is 26 right we know that the perimeter is the sum of all the sides so you subtract the 2 with with so minus 4 plus 4 8 minus 8 that will give you an 18 and there are two lengths so you divide that by 2 you get 9 see you get the same answer problem number 6 when Ofi opened her math book she realized that the sum of the pages facing her was 201 on what even number did she open her book? Now, this is it. Let's say uh, you have a book. Yan. Wow, ang galing kung mag-drawing, no? O, diba? When you open your book, diba? There's a number here, x. And the next one will be x plus 1. Isn't it? For example, when you open your book, the first, uh, on the previous page you have let's say five on the next page it will be six so it will be one more than the previous page that's it so that would mean that when you add x and x plus one the two pages it says here the sum so i added of the pages page x and x plus one facing her was 201 equals 201 so add these two you get 2x plus 1 equals 201. Again, subtract 1 to the left and to the right. This becomes 0. So you are left with 2x equals 200. To isolate x again, you divide by 2. There, you cancel 2 here. It becomes 1. So 1 times x is 1x equals 100. Meaning to say, this page is one page 100 and the other page is page 101. Let's double check. Add them. 100 plus 101, you have 201. Check. The problem is asking for the even number. Which one is even? 100. So the correct answer is letter E. 100. Okay? Problem number 7. If there are twice as many men as women in a team, how many women are there if team has 18 players in all? Uh, if the team has 18 players in all. I think this should be if the team. Okay, sorry for that. When you say there are twice as many men as women, this would mean that the number of men is equal to 2 times the number of women. Okay? Yan na. O, ulitin natin. There are twice as many men as women. So, the number of men is twice the women. Now, there are how many in the team? 18 players. Okay? Now, if you do it uh, algebraically, let us say you let the number of women be x. Okay, so that would be 2x equals the number of men. But the team consists of men and women. Tama? So that would be 18. Men, you have men is 2x here, there. Men is 2x. Women, we let women be x, right? There x so you have a total of 18 so at this you have 3x x means 1x take note of that take note of that x is always 1x 
So you have here 2x plus 1x is 3x equals 18. To isolate x again, divide both sides by 3. There. So x is equal to 6. Yeah. So 6 ang, ano? 6 is the number of women. So A. How many women are there? So A is 6. How do you do it um, arithmetically? Using arithmetic. Is there such a word as arithmetically? <laughs> I use it. I don't know either. Okay. How do we use arithmetic? Look at this. There are twice as many men as women. So the number of men is uh, the number of men is now counted two times. And then you have women, right? Counted one. So you have three counts, total of three counts. Oh, very simple. You have 18 divided by three counts. That would mean there are six. What? Which one was counted once? We men. So there are six we men. That's it. That's how you do it by using arithmetic. Okay. I hope I was of help to you. Always remember to add kindness. Subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and smash the notification bell. Thank you. God bless.